Kelly Barlow Creations, Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is going to make you think twice about throwing away those wire hangers that you get from the dry cleaners. And if you don't have hangers from the dry cleaners, it's gonna make you wanna go out and buy a pack of wire hangers. This project today is so stinking farmhouse and rustic, I can hardly stand it. So let's get to it and let me show you what all you need for this farmhouse toilet paper holder that I'm bringing to you today. For this project, I'll be recycling and repurposing the wire hangers with the cardboard that I get from the dry cleaners. You'll also need some twine, some burlap ribbon. I'll also be using this sunflower and what's left of this grass bunch that I picked up from the Dollar Tree that I had left over from a previous project. And I'll also be using some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of Walnut Stain. You can pick this up at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joann's. So let's get to it and let me show you what I have in store for this farmhouse toilet paper holder. You are gonna love this. Starting this project off, I'll be using the hanger that comes with the cardboard along the bottom that you can take on and off. I'm gonna start off by removing the cardboard. It comes dented in so the wire doesn't come out, and then you can pretty easily just pop it out. And I'm gonna do that to the other side as well. Now using my needle nose pliers, they also come with a spot here on the pliers where you can cut wire. On the hanger, you've got this curve here, and this is the part that goes into the cardboard. I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna cut right about here, leaving me with this. And I did that on both sides of the hanger. Now taking my hanger, here on the top where the neck is, you can see that it kind of bends right here. Using a ruler, I'm gonna take right at the bend and using a Sharpie, I'm gonna measure down five inches and make a mark. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Where I place the five inch mark, I'm gonna take and cut there. Now taking these two pieces that we previously cut, I'm gonna take and tape it onto the bottom edge here. Kind of replacing it back where it once was, but just the shorter version. I'm just gonna be using black duct tape because that's what I have on hand. If you have masking tape or electrical tape, you can use that too. Now taking our cardboard rod, just kind of measure how big I need it to be. And there we have a piece that will now fit on our hanger again. Now taking my twine, I'm gonna take and put some hot glue here. And now I'm gonna take and wrap my hanger in twine. And this is pretty easy to do and it doesn't take much time at all. You can see that I have done half my hanger. Now I'm gonna take the twine and I'm gonna put some hot glue up here in the neck of the hanger and I'm gonna do this side as well. Now I'm gonna take and wrap the cardboard rod in twine as well. So now we've got both pieces wrapped in twine. Taking my Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of the Walnut Stain, I'm gonna take and I am going to just kind of run this across my twine to give it that aged, dirty look. Now taking my burlap roll from the Dollar Tree, I've cut an 18 inch piece. I'm gonna take and fold it in half, fold it in half again, and I'm gonna cut about a half inch piece. I'm then gonna take and fold it in just like so. I'm gonna put a dot of glue here 
to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna take and fold it in again. Then I'm gonna take and fold it under again. Then again. Now taking both pieces, I'm gonna take and place some hot glue there and just set this right on top, giving us a burlap flower bow. Hot glue this to the neck of my hanger. Now taking my Dollar Tree twine, I'm gonna take and make a bow that's eight strands thick. But wait, we're not done yet. Now taking one of these sunflowers or daisies that I had left over from a previous project, I'm gonna take and cut the back piece off. Hot glue it and hot glue it right on top of the bow. I'm gonna take some of my leftover grass filler that I had from my flowers. I think I'm gonna place it in here as well just to give this some dimension. Now taking the rod, I'm gonna place it back onto the hanger. I'm gonna take our toilet paper roll and add that and now close up our rod. Okay, seriously, tell me that is not so stinking cute. This is so rustic and farmhouse and it was so easy to make and so inexpensive. And look at this, you could even make a paper towel holder out of this. And this one is so much easier because there's no cutting involved. You just need to wrap your hanger in twine and decorate it. I will definitely be making and gifting these for Christmas this year. I love these. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this farmhouse toilet paper holder and paper towel holder. I told you this was gonna make you think twice about recycling or throwing away your dry cleaner hangers. And if you don't have those dry cleaner hangers, tell me it didn't make you think twice about going to Walmart and picking up a pack of wire hangers to do this project. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in donating a hat to help us achieve our goal of 500 hats that we'd like to donate to the City of Hope for all of those men, women, and children that are battling cancer. You can find the link to that video in the description box below. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture and send it to me on Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. And bye.